Um, hello everyone, my name is Machiko Kanetake. Uh, I live in Rotterdam and I studied and worked in several different places. Originally, I grew up in Japan and studied uh, international politics there. And to get law degrees, I went to the UK for thanks to the scholarship I got. And I did my PhD in the beautiful town of Kyoto in Japan while spending one year in New York and then moved to the Netherlands as a postdoc researcher. And now I work at Utrecht University as associate professor of public international law. So I'm interested in many aspects of international law as they are often intertwined, but I've been interested in the duality of digital technology. So think about facial recognition technologies. I mean, they can be used to unlock your mobile phone, but the technologies can also be used in military context to identify targets. So depending on the intended use of technologies, different legal frameworks would be applicable. And apart from my interest in digital technologies, my longstanding interest uh, is the interaction between domestic and international legal orders. Uh, for instance, I've been doing research on how domestic court uh, selectively use documents of the UN treaty bodies, such as the UN uh, Human Rights Committee. I think that the first ESO event I participated was the research forum in 2013 in Amsterdam. I was part of the audience uh, and I remember that I was feeling slightly uneasy, uh, you know, a big conference and you don't know many, too many people there. But I have started attending uh, ESO annual conferences and I also presented at the research for forum in 2017 in Granada. And as you attend more events, you start getting to know more people and seeing some old faces who introduce to me new faces. And I, as I attend more ESO conferences and events, I started enjoying the conversations and sort of started realizing how important it is to get to know each other and sort of exchange ideas. Since 2018, I've been one of the conveners of the interest group on international courts and tribunals. Our interest group has organized quite a few events, including sort of domestic reception of international courts and tribunals, and biases in international adjudication. And I have also learned a lot from other conveners and I think we are a good, very good team. This year, the most uh, significant involvement is the ESO annual conference in Utrecht, September this year. And the theme of the conference is in slash exclusiveness or inclusiveness and exclusiveness of international law. And I'm one of the local organizers, uh, which have been led by my colleague, Celine Trevisanut. And I think that this is incredible that we will be able to shape the scientific agenda of the ESO annual conference. So I have been incredibly blessed and I really enjoy being part of the organizers and uh, think about both scientific agenda and also pragmatic issues that we have to, we will take care of. And finally, I will be part of the new uh, ESO diversity advisory body. So I very much look forward to meeting other members and think about new ideas to make ESO inclusive and uh, diverse. Um, so first of all, if you are watching this video before September 2022, I hope you will join ESO conference in Utrecht. Uh, you can join uh, in person or online. And apart from that, uh, I think that the ESO welcomes various initiatives among its members. And those initiatives will shape the direction of the ESO. And that is why it will be good to join the events and get to know people and discuss and propose your ideas. So in that sense, I would like to think that ESO is an open forum or open tent, so to speak, which will be enriched and shaped precisely through the contributions from its members.